Welcome back to another deep dive where I go over anything and everything FPS related, whether that's Call of Duty, Destiny, X Defiant, or anything that I'm just kind of interested in and feel like I want to share to you guys. So let's find out what we're diving into now, shall we? Well, guys, it is official. We're getting a return of slight canceling, a return of the classic minimap, OG jump spots on high rise, and operators that flat out just don't suck coming at launch with Modern Warfare 3. And it is looking to be one hell of a Call of Duty. And just like T Dog smitting, quoting Attach, quoting himself, this is going to be the greatest Call of Duty of all time. Okay, okay, okay. I know we can't call this the greatest Call of Duty of all time until one, we get to play it and allow some of its initial kinks to come out because we all know no matter how good a game is, and with the initial launch, there's going to be some bugs. But if you lived under a rock and you're Patrick Star, then let me catch you up. But today, the multiplayer from Modern Warfare 3 officially dropped. And instead of following the trend and just doing a basic reaction video to it, I wanted to do a scene by scene breakdown. So let's break it down. Our first look is panning out from a tank and then into this super bright transition that just reminds me of like the Into the Spider-Verse transition, which I ain't mad about. But in between these shots, we see some super slow-mos of what looks like skid row maybe i don't know i can't really tell then for sure it goes into terminal which looks fantastic and then it ends out with a shot of high rise which is going to be playable on the second week of the beta which is the open beta which everyone's going to get their hands on so long that you pre-order the game Now, I don't think that this is a shocker, but this does look like someone is diving off. And though DMZ might not get the love and support and get carried over into Modern Warfare 3, it looks like dolphin diving is. But before we move on, can we just say how badass a remastered high rise actually looks like? Here, we're getting a sneak peek of a few operators, including the main bad, Makarov, as well as everyone's favorite facial-haired hero, Price. And I mean, we can't look past this background and the environment because it looks like this could be what the gunsmith room actually looks like. But at the end of the day, it just gives a great scope of how many options for guns and vehicles there's going to be in Modern Warfare 3. You coming with me, feel it or not, you're going to fear it like I to the spirit of God has to know. Okay, okay, I think we're getting a little trailer reception here because I think the start of the first assassination with that last one at the tail end is actually one assassination all in itself where the operator's falling back and absolutely blasts somebody before getting up in the most badass way. Truly, this is just sick. And the only thing sicker than that is just these shots of Vela because they're just so bright and colorful. It just really brings me into this. And I just can't wait to get my hands on this. And I know this probably isn't confirmed and this has been how Call of Duty gets its content for trailers. But can we please get a return of a theater mode so that other creators like myself can make trailers and things like this for their own content? Because this just looks so good. Now We're getting more into the Spider-Verse transition here, but we start with the state, then we move out to what looks like a scrapyard, then favela, ending with the inside bend of the airplane on terminal. We're seeing all these different operators in their form akimbo and some of the animations that come along with it. It's just sick. Go, go, go! Okay, and this... This is where the trailer really starts to cook. Because as the elevator opens up, you see some people exiting and what looks to be an ACR in the hands. And then immediately going into going to be the first operator of the Vault Edition. We're going to see this Vault Edition multiple times throughout the video. You're going to say, hey, what is the Vault Edition? What does it look like? It looks like the Diamond Camo. But the Vault Edition operator looks to be holding a swarm. And I wonder if the recoil pattern is going to look like how they were shooting this gun just straight up. But I do want to take the time and focus on how badass some of these operators look I and mean, we already saw the one vault edition one which looks great but then we get this gold skull face one as well as this black and green night ops looking one that could almost look like something out of advanced warfare or infinite warfare it looks so sick i'm here for it and then in that last little second they're throwing off the little airplane drone which i basically is the confirmation that we're getting a return of the hunter missile drone coming back as a kill streak. Like, oh,
Now, we do get in this part the official confirmation that water is here. And what I find interesting is these operators are holding ARs, which makes me just, just please allow us to shoot another gun other than a pistol underneath the water. Quite literally makes no sense. Here we also do get our first look at what the Vault Edition guns are going to look like. And once more, they look like the Diamond Mastery camo. So I wonder, what are they going to do in replacement of this? Are they going to continue with this Platinum? Maybe we could see a Crystal camo come in. But back to the trailer. We continue to get more of the same with this trailer. More Vault Edition skins. Look at the map from different locations. But the one thing that I do find interesting in this whole thing is it looks like there's going to be a kill streak that's dedicated as an EMP. That just totally obliterates any of the enemy's trophies as well as any traps that they might have laid out for you. Okay, and there it is, the official confirmation that we're getting a slide cancel coming back. And I don't know if you guys noticed this, but immediately after that operator came up to shoot, they turned into what I believe is going to be the attack stance where you're not fully ADS, but you're not fully hip firing. You're somewhere in between. And I'm super excited to see what that's going to look and play like. Though I'm not completely excited because mantling is also carrying over to Modern Warfare 3. And really, really that just made my rock hard on turn into just a full blown chub. All righty, and Rust is here in all of its glory. And I'm sure you guys noticed this, but there seem to be three teams of three playing on Rust. And it makes me wonder if Sledgehammer is going to be bringing back their 3v3 gunfight tournament game mode thing that they had going on in Vanguard. And I don't think it was, honestly, I don't think it was that bad. I think it was underappreciated. And maybe the second time around in Modern Warfare 3 with all this momentum and hype going into it, we could see more appeal and love for that. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> Now, from vehicles, the turrets, the tanks, the choppers, I don't really think mobility is going to be an issue. And, and call me crazy, but I think this is really the first real glimpse of what the Warzone map is going to look like. We see a couple different things, one that kind of looks like a stadium, a giant hotel. I don't know. I'm just getting excited, and the hopium is flowing through my potty. <laughs> And as this trailer comes to an end, we're seeing more shots from a state, and it moves into a grander area where a nuke is going off. I mean, this could easily be something from like a campaign or even possibly a raid. We haven't heard anything about raids continuing to go through, but I, I wouldn't expect them because they're even less popular than DMZ. But then the trailer cuts back to Afghan, which preps us for us to get really excited for all the different possibilities of the cosmetics coming back. Because if you guys played Cold War, you remember the Judge Dread bundle. How is that cell shader? That's in the trailer, and we should be getting some more comic book variations or comic book e skins coming in Modern Warfare 3. I don't know. I like this. I'm here for this. But this is where I turn to you guys and I ask you, are you guys excited for Modern Warfare 3? Personally, I'm stoked. I don't know if you can tell. And I honestly can't wait to play. And I'm going to put us a challenge here. If we can get my kick to it thousand followers over on kick or 50 subs whichever one comes first i'll buy somebody within this crew a vault edition version of modern warfare 3 so with that said if you like the video you learned anything at all please like and subscribe and if you're already a part of the crew then please share this video with your friends that way they stay caught up with all the cool shit going on within and around gaming as always i challenge you guys make somebody laugh today be a light in someone's life and i'll see you guys in the next one peace